Hello, my beautiful love goods, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm building another tiny house. What else is new? I love me a good tiny house. This one is using custom content, so I'll be sure to link all of the creators in the description down below. But I thought I would take a spin on the solid color build challenge. It's not really the solid color build challenge because you know that challenge has rules and I didn't use rules in this case, but um, I decided to build a solid pink tiny house. I've had this idea in my head for a long time because it's absolutely ridiculous, but I kind of love it. <laughs> it's over the top. It's something that I think is probably too much pink, but I still love it at the same time. So basically I put in all the CC that I have and I just had fun. <laughs> That's all I did. Um, I just wanted to play around with custom content and just, just, you know, be free with the build, I guess. Um, most of the CC that I have is obviously Peacemakers CC. So definitely go check out their content, but there's also Praline Sims and a couple of other creators here and there. Uh, Slocks, I know, has some stuff here too. Um, but it is a lot of stuff from the actual like EA content as well because, you know, I, what I basically did was is I filtered out all the colors. Um, filtered out all the colors. What am I saying? Um, I filtered... I don't know how to describe it. But I used the filter settings on the catalog and just clicked the color pink. And that's what I did. And I just used items that showed up. That's that's pretty much the bare bones description of it, which <laughs> took me too long to describe that. Anyway, um, but anyway, um, for the most part, it is EA content and Peacemaker CC. But there is mostly, um, mostly, there's also Praline Sims, which um, Praline Sims is a known creator on the Sims resource, but... Uh, they have a, I think it's a Tumblr called Cross Architecture, and they have all of their content there. Um, so yeah, um, it's pretty nifty because the Sims resource can be a little bit all over the place, but I do like it sometimes. It just depends on my mood. Like, not really all the time, but sometimes. But... <laughs> Anyway, this house is one bedroom and one bathroom. It's pretty bare bones basic. Uh, it's kind of nice though. Uh, if I do say so myself, I quite like it a lot. And if the camera is moving a little bit faster than normal, I'm sorry. Um, I really just, yeah, if, if the camera is a little bit crazy and going all over the place, uh, I've been ha back into my old habits of just moving the camera around like crazy and just looking at everything and just going nuts and um yeah it's just kind of kind of crazy and ridiculous but anyway also I had to make a quick cut there because um I needed to fix something in my editing it was like something was out of order and it was bugging me but anyway um it was a challenge though to still do this because you know there's only so much items in the game that I have, even CC wise, that is pink. So like flooring and stuff like that. Um, that wasn't much of a challenge because Praline Sims, uh, they have a lot of flooring colors and variety, but you know, it wasn't hard for the most part. It was a little bit tricky finding like stairs and railing and fences and stuff like that, that looked good with what I had. Um, cause the style that I'm going for in this build is just kind of, I don't even know. It's just like very, uh, like, it's just kind of all over the place, really. Like it's like got elements of bohemian, but it's also got modern elements. It's got some, you know, it's like a party house or something like that. If you, I, I don't even know what that really means, but it's just, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, uh, what was I saying earlier? Oh yeah, this house is, again, like I said, one bedroom, one bathroom. The upstairs, I think, is so pretty because uh, I put a glass roof on there and the lighting is just really nice and there's also a computer up there. There's also a little pool in this house too. Uh, oh, <laughs> good lord, I need to slow down. There's also a little pool on this house as well. I said pool on this house tool. <laughs> uh, 
I'm I'm thinking I'm getting worse at voiceovers the more I do them, so bear with me. But anyway, yeah, I was like, you know, I never add pools to my tiny houses, so why not add one just to kind of change it up a bit? It's a, it's, it's a tiny pool for a tiny house, but it works, so... Yeah, and the pink, the water is even pink, which is crazy, because I didn't even know I had that in my CC collection, and lo and behold, I did. So, um, yeah, it's it's a pretty crazy house, but I really had a lot of lot of fun building it. Um, I'm just kind of, it's it's like kind of amazing. It's like I love it, but I don't think I would ever live in something like this. But I love the color pink. It's my favorite color, actually. I just, yeah, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> like, it's definitely aesthetically pleasing to look at, but I cannot imagine living in a house like this. Like, oh my gosh, that's, it's just pure insanity. But at the same time, I love it. I don't know. But um, anyway, see, there are some items from EA. Like I said, this picnic table, by the way, I didn't even know existed. This swatch, at least. I knew that the other swatches you are existed, um, but I didn't even know it was real. Like, I, oh my gosh, I love it. It's just so cute. And um, these rugs, one of the ru the rug with like the stripy bits on it, um, that's from Peacemaker. And the other one is from Praline Sims. Uh, they have a lot of really nice content in Praline Sims, like kind of some of the best CC out there. Um, it's a little bit on the alpha side, I'm not going to lie, but um, I still really, really like it a lot. And I'm sorry if my voiceovers have been a little bit crazy. Let's just say that real quick. Uh, my voiceovers haven't been really that great lately because um, I've been recording while people are home and I'm trying to get better at that. Um, it's just, yeah, it's just like, the only way I can describe it is like reverse stage fright. Like if I'm in front of a lot of people, I don't get that weird about things like that, I guess. But in this case, it just, I don't know, I feel a lot more self-conscious and that's my biggest problem, honestly. I'm trying to get better at it too, so yeah, just bear it with me. Um, I'm getting somewhat better, I guess. <laughs> but, oh yeah, also there's like a little yoga area too that I really like. This is kind of like my second favorite part of this tiny house is this little balcony here. It does change a little bit because I make the... Um, like the area where the bedroom is, I make it one block wider because it wasn't really wide enough to fit a bed properly. And I thought, you know, it just needs to have a double bed, not a single bed because it's just, yeah, it would be a shame to put a single bed here. So I put a double bed. I don't know why it's not that big a deal, but, um, yeah, um, I, I do change the size a bit, but it still looks pretty much the way it does. I don't know where I'm going with this, but, um, yeah, uh, it's actually really funny because while I was building this, I was just decorating it and got kind of going crazy. And then I forgot that the bathroom was right where I put it. And, um, I totally blocked off where the door should have been. So, uh, I had to move things around and, you know, correct my mistake. So, yeah, you'll see that happen. It's very funny when I do that. Like I do that so often with so many things, like I'll forget a mailbox. I'll forget a trash bin. It's crazy. Like I've forgotten mailboxes so many times in my builds. It's ridiculous. Like it's kind of funny because like when I load a sim into the house to take screenshots and I don't place a mailbox initially, uh, it just kind of spawns right in front of the door, but inside, not outside. It's, it spawns inside the house, which doesn't make sense at all. Like like what? Like I, 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 yeah. Like I just, I want to ask the sim gurus be like, Hey, wh what is this engine? Like what happens? Like, why, why is it like this? Like, why can't the, um, like why can't the, the mailbox just spawn like on the corner of the lot or something like that? Like that would be great because I, it would make me look less like a fool <laughs> when building. So yeah. Um, that's, it's just so funny. Like a lot of people point it, point that out too. And I'm just like, yeah, that's me. I always forget like the mailbox and sometimes I forget doors. Sometimes I forget sinks, um, in the kitchen that happens all the time. Um, I usually have to correct them and then like, you know, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's just funny sometimes, but also, 
<laughs> this couch, um, I do delete some of the couch because I have to put the door there, but um, the little couch, I just kind of cover it in pillows. I'm like, there is no way that they can even sit on this with all the pillows being here, but it looks good. So that's really what matters. And oh yeah, uh, really quick, this front door, um, that is part of a set that Peacemaker has released sometime recently, and it's like an add-on to the Vintage Glamour set. He had a uh, add-on set to that pack um, like some time ago. It was like a, you know, it added like, ah, added like a new Ottoman, you know, when it, it added, I, you know, I don't know what it added off the top of my head, but he did like a, another like add-on set. I don't know if he did two or one actually. I don't remember. I'm, I'm, I've, I've totally forgotten, but yeah, Peacemaker has quite a few add-ons to um, the Vintage Glamour set, as well as the Bowling Night uh, stuff pack. Um, it's a really nice addition, actually. It's got like a bed frame and a couch and a, a, a love seat, you know, sofa kind of vibes, and a little bit of other things that I can't think of off the top of my head. Yeah. <laughs> this this voiceover just kind of gotten to the point where I'm just kind of rambling nonsense, but hey. Um, anyway, how is everyone, though? I hope you all are doing well. Um, I am still currently watching The Office. Um, I'm really, really enjoying it so far. I'm part of the way through season two, and I think it's it's hilarious. I love the formula of that show. I, like, I think that this is just, it's so great. Um, once again, Michael Scott makes me uncomfortable, but I've grown to learn that that's kind of the point of his character. Um, and it's, it's, I guess it's supposed to be kind of like, not satire, but like a parody of like people like that in real life. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, he's, he's, he's terrible, but like, I've grown to appreciate his character as the show goes on. Like, I think, and this is something my friends have told me, uh, season one is a little bit, rough to say the least so um you kind of have to get through season one of the office and then it gets better as it goes along i still liked season one because um pam and jim that's kind of it like i i love jim and pam so much like i they're just great i love their characters i love the development that's happening it's so good and i ugh you know how much I love me a slow burn romance. And I just know that's what's going to happen. I hope so at least. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, that's, it's, it's doing good though. And uh, I'm really excited to get into it more. Um, there's some other shows I need to watch. Uh, sadly, my Hulu subscription ran out and I didn't, you know, I canceled it because I wasn't using it. So um, if you have any recommendations for show on net shows on Netflix, uh, do let me know. Um, nothing too serious and crazy. Uh, some people were recommending Stranger Things. I liked Stranger Things to start out, but it was just too anxiety inducing for me. It's just, it was too edge of the seat. I can't handle that stuff too much because I just, I get obsessive with it and then it just, I can't sleep. I don't know. It's kind of stupid. I know. <laughs> but Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video and uh, be sure to let me know if you want to see more uh, tiny houses like this in particular where it's like a solid color. It's kind of fun because I don't really, I just kind of make a mess and it's just, it's really, really silly and just, I don't know, there's just something about it that I really enjoy. But anyway, uh, all the CC will be linked in the description down below and this house is available on The Sims 4 Gallery. All you have to do is search my username, Lukey Dean, and the hashtag Lukey. And be sure to include custom content in your filter settings and everything. And yeah, that is pretty much it. Thank you all so very much for watching. Stay weird and beware of the Nargles. Remember sunsets in Boston Kissing yellow concrete we watched all of them together Until we couldn't go to sleep Wish it lasted forever But it faded away I was wrong You were right We couldn't stand tall Silver lining, but it's 
sofa, the way.